well, it is a hot and windy day. So I'm out flying the drone today, that's it. It's requiring me to be out here in the middle of the day. So one, in Arkansas, one way that the farmers irrigate to save and conserve water is using poly pipe. So it's just a piece of, basically it's like a grocery sack, a lot thicker of course, but hundreds of feet long. And they puncture holes in it wherever the fur is. From there, it flows down and goes out the end of the field. This is a soy bean field that I'm in today. Uh, I flew a cornfield earlier. I'm flying this soybean field. And hopefully, we can get some good imagery. It's a little windy, like I was saying, but it's what we got to do. We have to be here during solar noon to fly the drone. And we also have flow meters on here to track how much water is going into the field. And it, Tell you how many gallons per minute is going out, and we're gonna use that data to compare. This side has no cover crop, and this side has cover crop, and so we're kind of doing a, an experiment to see which one uses less irrigation water. Anyway, so this is Polypot. You can look it up. They got a cool website, and. I stepped out of the wind there, it was kind of getting blustery, but uh, the battery of the drone was getting low and I have to swap it. Usually I can make it through the, the whole field without swapping batteries, but because it's so windy, those propellers are fighting a lot more, and so it soaks up a lot more of the battery. It's coming down now, I'll get a cool video of it, you guys can see it. But uh, yeah, like I was talking about that poly pipe, it's a, there's a company here in Arkansas and they, it's made of rubber, and they uh, they use it to, to conserve water. And the way they conserve water mostly is that no matter what size or shape your field is, they, they puncture different size holes just to make it so the water gets to the end of the field at the same time, no matter how short the distance is. And so you don't just have it puddling up at the bottom of the field, but I'll oh, check this out. So this is the controller I use. That's the case. This is Cheryl. She's helping me fly today. And this is the drone we use. Like I said, it's the Mavic M210 V2. The Altum sensor. Luckily, we didn't have to deal with too many crop dusters today. Sometimes there are tons of crop dusters. Like last week when we were out here, there were like Two of them flying right next to me and a few more off in the distance because there's a landing strip right over there and then there's a landing strip just past that one. So it's like, what? Makes things difficult. Anywho, so we have to like pause our flight, resume our flight but whenever they come by. Makes it hard, but hey, they got to fly too. So we always have to give right away to the manned aircraft because we're, ours is unmanned. We always yield to demand aircraft, so. But yeah, that's one of the difficulties is watching out for crop dust because sometimes they'll pop right up on you. They'll come flying over the trees. Anywho. Uh, yeah. And I hope you don't mind my package of Ritz crackers in my pocket. Eating some string cheese and crackers. That's my lunch out here. Because it's easy and I can get it in like two minutes. So yeah, as far as field work goes, peace out for this week. This is probably one of the coolest parts about flying the drone. 
and it's putting out the landing pad. It's like one of those pop-up tents. I had one of these as a kid, like the pop-up tents. They were always so fun. But uh, yeah, one of those joys that comes from flying a drone. 